this question comes to us from Nancy Widman, and she wants to know about the right hand. And she's heard Randy Smith talk about, and a number of teachers, that you want it in your fingers more than in the palm of your hand. And she wants to know what's the upside and downside. Well, first of all, if it's not more in your fingers, all of that's going to be a downside unless you don't want any lever system and no speed. So if you put the club, if it, gets, if it gets in the palm of my hand, in my right hand or my left, that's called putting or maybe chipping. Okay, so why are we doing that? We're doing that to take out the ability of your wrist to hinge and unhinge in the golf swing. Or if I turn my right hand way under, if I make it really strong like this, all of a sudden my wrist can't work the way they're supposed to, to create speed. Now, you have more stability, more control. That's why a lot of people use that, that idea in putting. They use it in chipping. Okay, But as soon as you go to full swing, your right hand, I'm going to come a little closer to the camera. See, the very back of the shaft sits right in this joint, right there. So that's, that's how I hold the club. So where is the club? It's in the fingers of my right hand. Then my left hand's sitting right there, and my right palm folds right back, right in on that thumb. But what's holding the club? It's in my fingers, because your fingers is where your control, and that's where your speed is. So for a full swing, you want it in your fingers. Now here's where people get off. They start trying to put it in their fingers, and they turn their hand way over on top of the club. No, no, that's not right. It's in my fingers, but my right hand hinges back this way a little bit. So it sits on my hand, it's in my fingers, but if my hand doesn't go over this way, my hand hinges back so it sits on that thumb. Now these two fingers, it's like holding a baseball and I'm going to throw it. So if you took a ball and you held it in the palm of your hand and you tried to throw it and the ball was in the palm of your hand, you can't throw it very fast. So I pitched, you know, that's what I wanted to do. The more I put the ball on my fingertips, the more speed I had. If I wanted to slow down the pitch and look like I was throwing the same thing, all I had to do was put the ball a little deeper into my hand. And all of a sudden, you had the same arm speed, everything looked the same, but the ball came at you at maybe 5, 10, 15 miles an hour slower. Same thing happens with the golf swing. So again, it's in your fingers with your palm in the right angle. Hi, I'm Mike Malaska with MalaskaGolf.com. Understanding how your hands work in this game is critical. Your lead hand is more of a chopper. It works more this way. Your trail hand is more of a pusher and a thrower. You don't have to have a lot of this rotation going on. Come to MalaskaGolf.com and see how to simplify down what you're doing with your hands, which is the club face.